Welcome back, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming and checking out the videos. I appreciate it. And thank you, subscribers. So this uh, video was a request of somebody wanting me to show you how to use the stop and start button. It is ever so simple. Um, and it's a favorite feature of I mine, however. I still love my foot pedal. Um, so let's get into it and show you how this machine works. So guys, this is going to be a pretty quick little video here. This is about using the start and stop button. So real quick, I'll show you some key um, features on this about that. So you'll notice it says um, start stop here with the red light. Now that's because my presser foot is up. If I put it down, then it will turn green. So when it is up, and it, you can't push start or stop. You can't do anything with it. It just won't work. Um, and in this little indication thing here, it gives you a little indication that you cannot do anything unless the presser foot is down. So it just kind of gives you some uh, information on that. So the other thing I would say on this that's pretty helpful, sorry about the wobble there, I'm just gonna bring you guys out just a little bit. Um, so I have my material, I've actually been working on some cute little pumpkins here. And the other nice little feature on this is the speed control. So as long as your foot pedal is plugged in, um, you're going to continue to still be using um, the foot pedal on the machine. If it's unplugged, then it's not going to work. So I'm going to put my materials together here and just give you a quick look of how this works. So putting my presser foot down, my green light gives me my indication that I can actually start sewing with that. With this machine, you're gonna wanna put your needle in the down position, and then you can actually start sewing. So with this, it actually has a speed control dial to this. You guys can see that right here. So. I'm going to start sewing along here. Now I have my foot pedal on and if I turn it to the lowest, it will go pretty slow. And I would say if you're just starting out learning to sew and you're going in a circular motion, I would go at the slowest speed possible. And then if you've been kind of doing things um, for a while, you can give it at the highest speed possible that you want. Um, the other nice little features on this sewing machine here is it comes with extra presser feet um, for like free embroidery motion, um, blind hem stitching. There is all kinds of feet that come with the sewing machine. It also does embroidery um, with it. Um, all kinds of cool little features to it. The thread cutter, which is really nice. So. I really enjoy the features on this sewing machine. Now, most of the time, I actually use my foot pedal on the sewing machine. If you're gonna use it, you just unplug it from the machine, and then you just simply press the start and stop button, and then it will go along. line my work up here and then if I want to go a little faster then I just kind of move my my speed up and then to slow it back down so I'm pretty partial to using my foot pedal on my sewing machine so I always use that most of the time um, I do enjoy moving my feet around so I like to plug this one in and then I just kind of sew. <laughs> I 
And again, I can actually use my speed, my reverse button here. Now you can go pretty fast on here if you are using your reverse button with it and you put the speed on there too as well. It'll go pretty fast um, or it'll go pretty slow. So whichever you prefer on that. So and there you have it. It's pretty simple. It's a great machine. So anyways, thanks for hanging out guys and watching the video. So happy sewing to you. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day.